I knew from the start that I was going to include symptoms at some point in this 31 days of horror and I thought I'd save it up uh, for the end because it's probably the scariest, the most frightening movie I have in my collection. Now I'm a horror movie fan since about 20 years. I started by enjoying the short horror stories from Lovecraft and Stephen King and I went on to discovering movies, Reanimate, Are You All Dead? eventually discovering Romero in the Italian horror genre, falling in love with the continental cinema, even very late discovering some British horrors. And Symptoms is an interesting hybrid. It's a, it's a British, it's nominally a British production with a Spanish Catalan director and made with Belgian money. So it's one of those continental unusual uh, products and it had one of a kind of fate as well because it uh, briefly shown very brightly it actually went to Cannes imagine a horror film playing at Cannes as an official entry in the 70s and then it just disappeared and vanished and it was missing in action for a very long time Symptoms is one of the two amazing British set horror movies which were unavailable for a long time the other one being the haunting of julia full circle we're still waiting for that other one and symptoms eventually resurfaced thanks to bfi circa 2016 2017 i've got here this bfi uh, release and it's been uh, restored somewhere in Belgium and I'm really really pleased to have this in my collection I can truly before I even uh, say any more seek out symptoms get yourself a copy this movie is a gem I gotta say I've been a horror film fan for a few years now and few films manage to scare me or unsettle me anymore I, I'm i not into gore as much as I used to be. I think I've pretty much seen it all. But then once in a while, very rarely, a movie comes along which still manages to get under my skin and Symptoms is one such movie. It unsettled me, it creeped me out. And how do they achieve this effect? It came from Jose Ramon Larraz, who is this filmmaker. I knew him previously from a movie called Vampires which personally I don't rate it very highly. It's a kind of a very average lesbian vampire, softcore, non-scary horror film with some beautiful visuals, but without much punch to it. This, is, this was my opinion of vampires. So I didn't have high hopes for Symptoms, but when I watched Symptoms, I was completely blown away, which is, it's a great achievement. The main cast includes Angela Pleasance, that will be Donald Pleasance's daughter. And there is Peter Vaughan and Lorna Heilbrunn, so it's, it's a small cast in one location. It's one of those, so it's a small cast in one location. It's one of those slow burner movies. Symptoms opens with this montage of visuals. We are by the riverbed and there are those um, shafts of light shooting through the morning mist. And we see those dead leaves floating in the water. Then we see what appears to be this pale skin like a corpse lying half submerged in water then we see a photograph a black and white photograph of a mysterious woman and there are those dissolves in between those images and then this odd music starts kicks in then we have the um, main characters introduced so it's about these two ladies who come and stay in this um, rural house somewhere by the river it's a large vast old mansion like house which has apparently stood empty for a while and there are these two girls who are quite sophisticated, seem to be good friends. One of them is a translator, as far as I gather, and the other one is some sort of a writer. And so they spend a weekend there. And there is no TV or radio in this house. These girls don't gossip, they don't talk crap. So it's a very interesting and, I guess, idealized portrayal of, of, a, of a friendship this movie has just so much class thanks to its cast. I mean, vampires, Laras vampires also had good visuals and a similar premise with two female uh, leads. But that movie was more or less like fun trash, whereas Symptoms is really like an author's film, an art house movie, which is super atmospheric and doesn't insult your intelligence. The visuals and Symptoms are just splendid. 
Larath, as usual, being uh, himself having a background in photography and drawing, he masterfully composes the shots. Even though he's not the cameraman himself, you can tell that he really took care of creating this ambience in this film. This film really breathes autumn and decay and it's a film of elements there is water fire we see those leaves we're always immer immersed in this lush kind of woodland there so it it showcases british countryside really well what a gorgeous film symptoms i'm really glad i discovered it and at the same time i'm saddened that i discovered it so late in my life but then again it it has been it it used to be unavailable for like decades Need I say more? It's a fantastic film, Symptoms. Go have a look. Can you get yourself a copy, preferably a Blu-ray? A wonderful film. So the movie is a slow burner. If I had to draw some parallels, I would say um, look to, from more obscure movies, Full Circle, The Haunting of Julia. It has a similar creepy haunting vibe and those kind of subdued but uh, gorgeous otherworldly uh, visuals. Or else, in terms of basic plot, definitely think of um, Repulsion, because we have here Angela Pleasance's uh, character is uh, most certainly unsettled, and that transpires very early in the film, and that seclusion, these two uh, ladies uh, spending time in this lonely, in this empty house, it gets une it grows uneasy very, very early. And then there is that hatred uh, one of one of the girls seems to have against the handyman who who also stays on the grounds. So it's a triangle between these three people, and there is some past traumas. It's nothing groundbreaking, but the way this story plays out and the way it is delivered, with the, with the sort of supreme confidence and poetic visuals and great command of editing and fantastic score, it it really elevates symptoms beyond your low-budget, uh, small-scale thriller horror movie. There isn't much violence or blood in this film, but it is supremely unsettling and creepy. I found this film got to me. I think this is a movie which could probably more freak grown-ups out, because it's a little bit less flashy, it doesn't really have any handles for younger generation, because pop culture is pretty much absent from this film and the characters are in this um, isolated house away from TV, from radio. They, there is not much of that social life for them and they're wearing these sophisticated dressing gowns, drinking tea. Their conversations are clever without being too pretentious and smart. They're obviously literate people without being complete nerds. So these, watching this movie is like spending a weekend in company of some very interesting people even though those are obviously fictional characters and you will not have uh, you will just not find this company in real life ever if i could go and live in the world like symptoms i probably would because it seems to be a world where the filmmaker laraz has uh, on purpose eliminated all vulgarity all boring things normal jobs common people you know all the rubbish basically there is no politics no environmental trouble it's all just focused on uh, nature and memory and obviously trauma because it's a horror film so there is a certain amount of violence if i if i could market symptoms i would say it's a horror film for 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 a slightly more sophisticated and grown-up viewer and that's just fine the way it is it's nice that a movie like this pops up once a decade or so so that uh, so that audiences who are not satisfied by popcorn horror by uh, mass-produced uh, general viewer oriented horror can also get their uh, satisfaction now and again so uh, so I've got here this BFI blu-ray and I'm really happy with it it's a 2k uh, restoration I cannot recommend this film enough I think if you are into offbeat horror and you haven't seen symptoms yet then i strongly urge you to pick up a copy i think there are at least two editions of this movie in existence right now i'm really pleased i've got this one i might even get an extra copy just for backup because this film is outstanding so thanks for watching that was day 30 of 31 days of horror the halloween is very nearly upon us and i hope you're all having a nice 
creepy weekend. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you tomorrow.